What's up guys, Duarte to give you another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we're going to talk about Val and why I will be boycotting Val. Yes, you heard it right, I'm gonna completely boycott Val or maybe not completely but at least partially. I'm gonna get this character but I'm not going to take it beyond the level 1 because I don't like what this character represents and uh, I understand when people are trying to send me a message but they are doing it through subliminal methods and I have a big problem with that and overall I have a big problem with the character I have a big problem with the concept of the character, the design of the character and what this character is supposed to represent so if you guys don't know Val is very very similar somehow to Baal. Baal is something like a, a false god, like a demon, something that represents evil, child sacrifice, woman sacrifice, and uh, because of that, uh, I don't feel very comfortable when I'm taking a look at this character with his red horns and all with these other features that also represent other mythological figures. So we're gonna take a look at all of these but first off, I want to show you what the developers are saying and uh, why I think there are some subliminal messages being thrown at us. Why am I cutting this character and uh, why the representation of this character as a whole, it's not, uh, it's not good. It's literally not good, but we'll see. And uh, I'm going to give you examples of something that happened in the past that they changed it. So I really, really hope that they also change the design of this character. At least, at least the bare minimum, remove those red horns and the center thing in the middle because it's just wacky. But uh, with that said, as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. Make sure to smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so before this, before we start, I want to say that I don't have any problems with representation of evil. We have Dormammu, we have other evil characters in the game. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with Mephisto being in the game. But when they are selling me a character that is a sub sublim subliminal message to evil, and they are mentioning this character as a hero, a hero for who? That, that's when it becomes a problem. This, this is the first character that is non-binary and it seems that he is not only non-binary in terms of gender but also non-binary in terms of good and evil. Is this character evil? <laughs> Depends on your perspective. If you are a Satanist, no, this guy is a hero. If, uh, is this guy a villain? Well, if you are a Christian or something like that, yeah, this character is definitely going to be a villain. But once again, if you, if you are a Satanist, of course, this character is going to represent something good for you because you like destruction, you like child sacrifice, you like uh, woman sacrifice, and you like all of that. So for me, once again, I don't have problems with the representation of evil. I don't, I just don't, don't I just don't like to be misled about that and being gaslight about uh, your intentions. So let's hear from the developer's voice on what exactly Val is and what Val is supposed to represent. And we're gonna, I'm going to give you examples of other things that are exactly ex what they are saying as well. Okay, here we go. Let's listen. Let me see if I have the audio. Okay, no audio yet. So let's put the audio now and uh, just a little bit so it's not too loud okay cool here we go while you're here can you tell us about vol i would love to tell you about vol vol the last as guardian so first off val and bal once again it's so it's so close to home val 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 in the keyboard v and b are exactly on the same place and we had this problem with balenciaga balenciaga being a, someone that is promoting the the pedophilia of children and we have the same thing here it's exactly the same thing as you're gonna take a look last asgardian it's the last asgardian of his own universe do you mean like the last angel the, the fallen angel that uh, fell from the sky because he, he disrespected god and so on it kind of sounds like the same thing i'm getting the same vibes but anyway let's continue listening to to this guy 
is our next original character from Marvel Strike Force. Vol is a survivor of a universe that was devastated by Ultimus. Okay. Vol survived by collecting all these remnants and artifacts from the universe that Vol now wields. So Vol has Surtur's sword, has a scrap of Eternity's cape, has some salvaged armor from the Destroyer, the Gem of Sidorak. So this guy, Val, he is from the four or five items that uh, the this guy mentioned. Three or four of them are related to evil. Three of them are related to evil. And once again, we have uh, this character that is the last survivor from uh, his universe. You know what this reminds me? This reminds me exactly of the plot of Diablo 3. Diablo 3, we have the prime evil, the one that killed all the other evils, and then he masqueraded himself as a female, as a female, to bypass the 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 Nephilim and the other people that are fighting evil. So once again, we have someone on Diablo 3 plot that is also someone that is somewhat non-binary, someone that collected the essence of other prime evils and made itself the last of the prime evil of the prime evils. I mean, this is so close to home. And look at these horns. What what's up with these horns? Holy shit! Remove these horns. It doesn't make any fucking sense in terms of the character design. You put all these things together. It's ugly. It's disgusting. Just the, the way the character looks looks disgusting. It doesn't make sense. It looks gross. It's visually it hurts my eyes just to look at these and the horns. What's up with these horns? Where are the horns at? Are the horns in the helmet? Doesn't make any sense. Are the horns inside of his own head? Well, that's already. Uh, a representation of evil. So once again, what the hell is going on with this character? Let's continue listening to the developers. Everyone's perception of Vol is a little different. Some people see Vol's appearance as more masculine. Some people see Vol's appearance as more feminine. And some people see Vol's appearance more non-binary. Okay, so I don't know what is this supposed to be. As a European from a, a Roman language, from Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Romania, other parts of Europe as well. When you say Val, Val is definitely a female character. And some other content creator, Porky Pad, he also mentioned yesterday that his wife also names Val. Maybe it's Valerie or something like that. So it's clearly a feminine character and there is no problem with that. Now, when you are saying that the perception of the character changes based on who is taking a look at it. I'm going to show you some representation of something similar to that. So right here we have a, present, a representation of Baal, but then the name of Baal changes to Balzabu. And you can see once again, we have the female features, we have the male features as well. So depending on how you are taking a look at it, you can see it also as more female or more masculine. Then. Bal or Balzabu is also is also a collector because he has the pentagram, he has the female body, he has the wings, he has the two moons, he has the horns, he has the this this stuff on his head, and then he also has the snake scepter, and he also has other items that are related with this character. After this, we are going to take a look at a few more pictures to see exactly what I mean. But other representations of uh, of evil that I want to show you, this guy from the Powerpuff Girls is somewhat feminine as well, is somewhat masculine as well. It depends on who is taking a look at the character. So once again, you are telling me, you are telling me that this is not a representation of evil? Are you telling me that this is not sublim subliminal messages that are being thrown at my face? Is this a hero? This is a hero for who? If this guy or girl is non-binary, it's not in terms of gender, it's in terms of ideology. Because, once again, a hero for who? For Satanists? Yeah, absolutely. Because for uh, Christians, Muslims, Jewish people, this is not a representation of a hero. It's exactly the opposite. Now, other thing that I want to show in terms of... Uh, in terms of Val, let's take a look at something that... Uh, it's based, so we already talked about uh, 
Diablo 3, right? Diablo 3, we had an evil that consumed all the other evils and become the prime evil. Now, let's take a look at Val once again, and let's take a look at the chest feature. So, you can see these characters right here. This is something from Dragon Ball. Whenever you have the ball in the middle, the ball is corrupting you. The ball is consuming you. Guess what? Guess what? What Val has exactly in the middle? Val has exactly the same feature in the middle. So, once again, we have a character that is clearly being corrupted by evil. It's, uh, it's or, 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 once again, depending on the perspective, depending if it's a binary or non-binary character, in terms of uh, hero or villainy, uh, then uh, it's not being corrupted at all, at all. It's just becoming more powerful because, yes, in Dragon Ball, if uh, you, you get these balls of corruption, but if you are already pure evil, and in this case it means that Frieza and Cooler, they are not absolute evil, but in case you are, like there are other characters like uh, Omega Sharon, then in that specific case, you, you do not uh, get consumed by evil, because you are already evil, so you just get the extra powers. And this is what is ac exactly happening with Val. Val has exactly that uh, sphere of corruption in the center, and once again, we have the, the bands of Citorak, then we have the sword of uh, the other guy that is also evil, then we have the other arm that is also part of someone evil as well, and then finally we have the Ordens. Like, it's just so, it's just so crazy, it's just so crazy. In my opinion, this is not subliminal at all. This is straight in the face, in case we have some knowledge about uh, these kind of topics and about religion. Okay, so let's see if uh, the developers have anything else to say about Val, because after I want to show you a few other screenshots about uh, this character. Val is all things, really, to all people. Val is all things to all people. Val is all things to all people. Does this make any sense unless you are talking about God or the devil? If it's all things to all people, then it means it's all good to all people or it's all the evil to all people. It's absolutely ridiculous. How can you how can you bring a character like this to the game? Like the 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 amount of insanity is ridiculous. It's it's so straight in your face. It's very very disturbing. And once again, this is why I'm going to boycott this character because I cannot accept these things. We already accepted the borders, we already accepted the LGBTQ propaganda and so on, but this is too much. This this is just too much. Let's see what else we have. So, once again, Val or Bal, Bal is all things to all people, all things to all people, all things that are good or all things that are bad, as above, so below, all the evil, all the good that we have on the top, you also have a, a reflection of that in terms of evil, so this is, and how is this character a hero, how is this character a hero, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Once again, this is based on perception, because we have hero as guardians, or we have villain as guardians here. The Bifrost team is composed by mostly villain as guardians. The, the kings of the mischief, we have Loki, we have Sylvie, we have teenage Loki. And we have all this nonsense in the game. So, once again, this is a hero. This is a hero for villainous people. This is a hero for villain people, not for normal people that are looking for the good of others. Only for the people that are looking for mischief. Let's see if the developers have anything else to say on this topic. Ball is one of the last things they did was uh, befriend a fledgling spark of the Phoenix Force. So they have like a little Phoenix that is their traveling companion that helped them get out of their dead universe and come to the multiverse and Nexus Earth to help protect other universes from the same annihilation. Okay, so is Phoenix really a friend of uh, this character? Once again, Phoenix is uh, sort of uh, a non-binary character. It can also be a representation of good in terms of creation, but also in terms of Ill, evil. We already, know the, we already know this from the Dark Phoenix saga, where Phoenix destroyed a bunch of planets full of life just to power up uh, itself again for more destruction. So, once again, the, the representations of good and evil are... Uh, somewhat questionable with this character and uh, is phoenix really befriended or is phoenix being controlled because as you can see the animation of the character is that it crushes his fists when uh, before phoenix shows up so even on the animations it's a little bit problematic what uh, is being represented with this character 
uh, that they faced in their home universe. Thanks for the insight, Sean. Yeah, thanks for the insight. Okay, so let's move on from uh, these of the developers. Let's take a, a look at a few more pictures of Val and his character as a whole. So once again, it's uh, crushing his fist before uh, Phoenix shows up. And uh, the, the character is absolutely ridiculous in terms of stats. And I don't need your evil power. I don't need your evil power. I can deal with the mystic nodes right now without any problem without uh, using this character. I don't need to sell my soul for additional power. I, don't, I didn't make any sign with Mephisto or anything like that. But once again, we have the corruption in, in the center of the characters. Then we have the collector. Once again, the wings, the horns, the pentagram, the male depiction with also the female depiction. Then we have the snakes and the two moons. Other representations, we have Baal once again. Val, Baal, is it a coincidence? because they are very close on uh, the keyboard. Then uh, we have uh, the represent representation of uh, the somewhat cow or goat or something like that. Once again, uh, this is iconography of uh, Satanists. Once again, the snakes, we have the pentagram and so on. More depictions, more depictions of here. You can see the woman being sacrificed on the altar for the, the same thing. Then we have here, once again, sacrificing the children for the, the false god, for the, uh, once again, the collector with multiple items of different types right here. And uh, yeah, it's, I think it's pretty obvious. It's not subliminal at all. Even on SpongeBob, even on SpongeBob, we have the same scenario. We have the, the strange horns. We have the weird tail that does not match with the body. We have the strange feet as well with just one finger like uh, the goat would be on, if it was a fish and the whole representation of the characters once again same thing you can see the all the evil signs and so on and who is this hero for once again Bal, female but could also be seen as a fat male or something like that and even val in the game on the male representation he kind of looks like more fat than the other characters once again, female depiction, but it also could be male depiction as well. It has the features of both. Then we have this one, once again, the collector. We have these different representations. I think this one, I'm not sure if it's Egyptian or Indian or something like that, but this one is a little bit different from the others, even that it has similar features. Once again, this one is in America. I think this one is a very well-known representation. Once again, the different items, we have the horns, the wings, the, the snakes and the scepter and so on. More representations of that. Once again, the child sacrifice with, together with the flames and so on. Like, come on, Scopely, what are you doing? Is this really what you're pushing once again? I, I think uh, we could move on from this, no? Is this the peak peak creativity for scopely if it is it's it's quite sad we had amazing characters we had amazing good looking characters like uh, deadpool like kestrel i think those were pretty cool spider weaver was a little a, li a little bit already weird in terms of depiction but it was not a big deal now this val is just beyond it's just beyond and once again this is why i'm going to boycott this character once again same representations female features male features and so on then we have a south park version as well and this was what they showed to us so look at deadpool once again i don't have any problems with the representation of evil there's a representation of death just don't tell me it's a hero like if you think a representation of death is a hero it's a little bit weird in this case we have death pool together with death death as a part a part of life and not death as a part of a sacrifice because that's the difference sacrifice is a sin suicide is a sin but uh, normal death is just natural spider weaver once again not the best character design compared to castle or to deadpool but much better much much better than val and look at the stats of val the stats of val are ridiculous this is completely ridiculous over 2 million hp over 2 million hp this is not a legendary character this is not a legendary character over 2 million hp then 140 000 damage and this is not even at seven red stars this is only at four red stars so we are taking a look at the character close to 3 million hp 
it's not a legendary character. Why, why is this character so powerful? Because you want to represent something really, really powerful, right? Yeah, absolutely. Once again, another depiction of Vala. We have Vala in Gaiman. Once again, this is the non-binary version. The male version is more fat. The female version has a skirt. And that's pretty much it. So you can see that here is a little, it has a little bit more volume on the belly and this one not as much. So what I really would like to see is the same that they did with the Silver Samurai. So Silver Samurai in game, when Silver Samurai first came up to the game, it had the Imperial flag that some people consider problematic. And based on that, they removed the, the Imperial flag which for me it is not a big deal but if you are from japanese uh, origin i can see the problems with that so what i would like to see from european the descendant i would like to see like those at least those horns removed and the center of corruption the heart uh, corrupted heart or something like that i would also like to see that removed even that once again val as a character he is ridiculous. So once again, how, how is this character so powerful that it has the bands of Sidorak, it has the, the, the armor of the destroyer, we, he has all these features. How? How did he become so powerful and uh, why is it so borderline evil? Is it binary in terms of gender or is it binary in terms of uh, being good and evil? I will, leave, I will leave that to you to tell me in the comments below. Do you think that uh, this is a good character coming to Marvel Strike Force? Do you agree with my perspectives of this character? Are you also going to boycott this? I'm definitely going to boycott this character. I'm going to keep it on level 1 until they change the way the character looks. Because once again, I don't need this character for the Mystic Raids. And, uh, and that's fine. That's it. I can wait for whatever comes next. Or I can just skip the Mystic Nodes entirely because other person can do that uh, unless everyone boycotts this character and then they have to clearly change the way it looks. But once again, I will let you guys know in the com uh, I will let you guys comment in the comments below what you think about this character. And that's all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you found the video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. And I'll catch you guys later.